Hi guys, Big Pierre from Rains of Performance. So just back with another video today. Um, I've got here, uh, I'll just show you in a minute, a Mercedes A160 CDI, which is a two liter diesel engine. Uh, it has the OM640. So I'll just show you that now so you can have a look. Yep, so that's the car there, the Mercedes A160 CDI. It has a two liter OM640. I think this engine goes in the A class and the B class and a few others. Um, if you get a message in the dash saying uh, oil level not available or then you get red flashing which says uh, oil too low stop the vehicle then you've got a problem with your oil level sensor and basically um, I've quote I've sent this to um, a Mercedes dealership and they have quoted £3,000 to change this sensor because they say that the engine has to come out because they've put it in such a silly place but um, I'll show you where the sensor is now and I'll show you um, a way that I found to change it probably not something everybody will want to do but um, if the car like mine probably worth about a thousand pound now to spend three grand on this car um, to change a 30 pound sensor well you can buy an aftermarket sensor for 30 40 pounds um, I think it's a bit silly so I'll show you where the sensor is and then I'll tell you how I did it right so we're under the car now so uh, you'll know because this is once you take the undercuffs off this is the aircon compressor here uh, there's your front wheels there so the engine the sump does sit quite far back on these so if you look there I'll just put the torch on so you can see it that there um, where that little orange bit is just try and focus into that and you can see those two torque screws on top of the sump there is your oil level sensor now um, I don't know maybe some people will find an easier way to do this but uh, Mercedes reckon that the the engine has to come out and um, I'll show you how I've, I'm gonna tackle it because I'm not spending that kind of money on getting Right, so on these, which is the uh, W169 chassis, I believe, A class, um, the battery goes into the driver's side footwell, goes there, and then here is where this fuse box goes. As you can see, I've tied this fuse box up to the steering wheel. You can just take off a few um, fasteners, which basically holds, but this, this, this wiring loom you need to be careful of. You take that off, and basically, um, where that dip is here, about two inches from there you can just see the sensor is right there so like I said not everybody's gonna to want to do this but if you think you're able to do it then this really is gonna be the cheapest way of doing it that's the sensor there you can see the fastener on there there's another fastener on this side so just to give you an idea you have to sort of um, take the fuse box out and then cut it about two inches above it from that far corner and there's two skins so you first cut the first skin and you need to be very careful because below this there's some wires going to the aircon compressor and um, the the sensors and whatnot but I think if you be careful like I've done and uh, just tackle it slowly you can do it and you can leave these bits of metal hanging from one corner so that when you put it back, I mean, you can put it back there and if you want to weld it, you can weld it back in or you can just um, use some uh, a decent sealant like tiger seal or something like that to obviously stop any water coming through or you can screw a self-tapping bracket onto it or something like that. Whatever you think to fasten that back up, obviously, just in case to stop the water coming back in. And um, yeah, that's it really. And once that sensor's out, um, just simply those two torque screws there and I should be able to pull that out from there. And you can change it so yeah so if anybody's struggling with that oil level sensor on a mercedes om640 engine because they're a nightmare of an engine these even to change the oil they don't have a drain plug and you have to pull the oil from the top um, it has to come the oil has to come out through here uh, which is a bit of a funny design if you like but uh, it is what it is and uh, like i said it's a cheap car car's only worth about a grand so i mean to spend two three thousand pound taking that engine out and getting that put in it's a complete waste of time but yeah um that's all for now so yeah if that's uh, what you're looking to do then 
I think that's going to be the easiest solution really. But uh, yeah, like and subscribe guys. Uh, once I've done this, uh, I'll take a few photos of once it's all cleaned up and put all back together. I'll probably just uh, do a few spot welds on it and then seal it up. Probably the easiest thing to do really. But yeah, I think that's the easiest way to do it. And uh, if you're handy with an angle grinder or a Dremel or some, you know, cutting time, take your time with it and it, it, it shouldn't be too hard. It's a pretty simple job. And really, I mean, what you've got to lose in it, it's, uh, it, it's a top skin, so you can easily cut it out and whack it back on and it should be all good. Like and subscribe to the channel, guys, if you like what we do. Plenty more videos coming through. That's the A160 CDI OM640 2-litre diesel engine, and it's uh, 2010 and the it's the oil level sensor thanks very much guys see you soon right guys so this is your sensor we've got it out now and what you'll find is when you open these two nuts you'll have to just get underneath with a, a pry bar um something like this here and just give it a slight lift because it is that rubber seal there holds it in and it's quite hard to get it from the top and as you can see it's quite a big sensor i didn't think it would be this big but even when you take it out you're going to play with it a little bit to get it out. But yeah, it's out. And that's it. And uh, I'll just show you the part number on it now if I can zoom into it. So, this here is your part number. A005153932. Uh, that's your part number. And that's your actual sensor there. Made by a company called Temic. It's got a Mercedes badge on it. So yeah, if we're just going to order another one of these, I think you can get a, a cheap budget one for about 30 quid. And as soon as we've ordered that, it's going to go straight back in and we're going to seal it all back up. So looking at the sensor now, I mean, looking at the length of it, there's really no other way other than taking the engine out to do this. Because um, if you were to even take the aircon compressor out, there's not enough space between the top of the vehicle and the place where this sits. So really the only way of doing this is either by taking the engine down and taking the sump off and stripping it all down or maybe i don't know getting it from underneath and stripping it from underneath i don't know if that's a, an option but that way that i've done it is probably the easiest way you can see there now just cut it out and really i mean once that's all back and tack welded in and sealed back up i mean even if even if you sort of pay a welder to come out and charge 40 50 quid to do it it's not going to be as much as it's going to cost otherwise is it i mean you know if you wanted to do a perfect job you could get a welder to come out now and weld that up and probably charge you about 50 60 quid so i think um options wise and uh, i've just had a quick search online and i will put a link in the description the cheapest one for this part number is 68 pound 50 on ebay which is obviously a an aftermarket product but um for a you know old car like this i don't think it's going to matter so we'll buy the aftermarket one put it in and if there's any problems i'll report back but that's all for now so like and subscribe to the channel guys if you like what we do and um, any comments put them in the section below any questions feel free to ask thank you